to show you how to make a mixed media mirror. Um, if you check out um, my blog, there is another one of these that is completed um, and I made that one using feathers around the mirror. So for this one, um, this mirror here, I am going to use tree branches. Um, I have several already um, that I collected and cut down and basically um, what I'm gonna do is glue them around on this wood base. So this is a 12 inch mirror and a 12 inch base. Um, and I'm going to glue these all the way around and they're kind of, um, they kind of vary in sizes, but basically like this for the most part, just to give you an idea here. So I have some that are really big, some that are really small. Um, again, all the way around. And then what I'm gonna do is once I hot glue those on, I'm gonna put the mirror on top like this and hot glue that. And then I'm gonna put some smaller branches around to kind of cover the edge of the mirror. So to begin, um, I've got my hot glue gun plugged in. I'm just going to begin putting some glue and I'm gonna glue these in about an inch from the edge. Um, I am not going to have you watch me glue all these because that would take forever. And it is fine if there's a little bit of a gap in between them because once you go back and put the mirror on and then we put the ones on top, it will fill in those spaces. So you just wanna make sure We've got that on there secure. And put a few more. There's one more. So like that. Take that piece off so it doesn't affect the way the mirror sits on there. And again, I would continue um, making sure that I fill up the whole perimeter of this wood base. Um, once I get those done, I'll come back. Um, I'm not gonna have you watch me glue all these down. That would take a while. Um, and then we'll secure the mirror and I'll show you how to fill okay, in Okay, so all the now spaces. that the um, wood branches are all on the base here and um, they're dry, so you can see it's all connected together, um, I'm ready to put my mirror on. Um, so, when I put this on, um, I could do a couple things. I could hot glue it, um, or trying to find the right spot. Um, I could hot glue it, use super glue. I'm actually going to use this Gorilla wood glue um, here as my agent to secure it. And the reason I'm using this instead of the hot glue is because when you are um, trying to glue a large surface like this down, if you don't get the hot glue on quick enough, it's going to start to cool down and set up um, before you get it, you know, get it covered and get it pressed down. So this obviously is going to stay wet for a while and allow it to secure. So what I'm doing right now is I am putting this wood panel into place and I'm looking to see where I think it looks like it's going to touch. So there are a couple main branches that it's gonna hit, and that is where I'm going to put the glue. So I'm just pouring kind of a generous amount on these. And then I'm going to put my mirror right into place like that. And then I'm gonna let it dry. I could put something um, you know, on top of it to weight it down. So for instance, I'll put this roll of paper towels here to let that dry, make sure it stays in place. Um, and then from here, what you could do, um, I've chosen not to, I like it sitting up and with the clean mirror edge. But what you could do is you could take smaller branches and go back and put them around to actually cover the edge of the mirror um, 
Again, that's optional. You certainly don't have to, but if you wanted to, you, um, I would get some skinnier branches, not the thicker ones, cut them down into really small pieces and either continue with this kind of starburst pattern, or you could even lay them more um, kind of the opposite direction and pile them up to cover that edge. So again, that's optional. Um, so I'm gonna put this on and let it dry. Um, and that is pretty much it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.